Okay, so I did a video yesterday, but I did my audio got all screwed up. I should have left it on there anyway because the puppies were actually really cute. And the video would have sucked, except you could have watched some puppy shenanigans. Puppy, I call them puppies. He's a, she's a puppy. Then there's a young adult, four-year-old dog. But they were much more entertaining than I was, and my audio was messed up. But I will tr try it again today. I'm never more entertaining than the dogs. But hope you have something to get your day started. I've got some coffee here. I'll get some of this in me. We had a lovely walk. Went out really well. Pepper and Luna were very well behaved. Still haven't taught Pepper to come when she's called. Uh, Got to work on that. Got to work on that because it's important she learns to come when she's called. So I've been listening to uh, Lex Freeman and Elon Musk discussing stuff. And when it came to artificial intelligence, uh, the uh, <coughs> X group, which is a, a group funded by Elon that's looking into creating an art AI, it's creating an AI that's uh, uh, called Gronk, Grok, Grok, G R O K. Uh, Okay, yeah. Um, it uh, the, it's like ChatGPT, except it's um, trained independently and uh, has more humor in it, and tries to be a, a little bit more uh, less um, oversight, I would say. So the uh, yes, pretty girl. Uh, the one of the interesting things was uh, Lex had asked Rock about uh, Elon um, what things he had gotten wrong or was did did wrong. And so it had, um, its answer was, Elon has gotten more things wrong than the wrong meter at the wrong meter war warehouse. And, uh, but they, and they laughed about it and they went through some of the stuff and some of the, especially the predictions on, uh, Autonomous driving, he says he's gotten, you know, he agreed he got that. A lot of those predictions have been inaccurate. Um, so, but then there were a couple of things that um, Elon pushed back on, and they had to do with uh, his. Um, uh, uh, when he tried to take Tesla private, he had sent out something about security, uh, you know, uh, uh, funds secure, taking it private. And that was all true, but the press said it was not. And they had a jury trial, and he won that jury trial. But because the press had deemed it false, Grok went with what the 
the press had said as opposed to what the actual outcome of the jury trial was. Uh, there was another one as well. But the question became, and this is one of those things where I've, I've given this story before, but I'm very proud of my daughter, so I'm going to say this again. AI has to find a way to look under the covers. And this is going to be extremely difficult because uh, Lex pointed this out as well. If you go, if you look at information based on activity, you may find things that are incentivized for the negative or salacious as opposed to being truthful and accurate. You know, saying something bad about uh, people in public places and note, people of uh, note tends to get you more interest than if you say positive things about them. This is really a difficult problem. And oh, and my, the story for my daughter was um, she was looking at an article on Tumblr and everybody was saying that uh, Mitt Romney had said that. Uh, see if I can get this correct. On Tumblr, Mitt Romney had said that two thirds of the people should not be allowed to vote. And my daughter, seeing that, instinctively said in her mind, I don't think this is accurate because it sounds askew of what she's heard him say. And she's not a big conservative or Democrat. She's pretty uh, she's pretty uh, middle of the road. Um, and <clears throat> so she got out there and started looking. Like, where did this come from? Where did the this statement come from? And she found it. And it was from a, uh, whoa, don't, don't break my stuff, guys. Don't wrestle in front of the, next to the camera. You need to settle down. Leave, leave her be, you silly puppy. Uh. Pepper, no. You be nice. Lena? Okay. Um, so she found it. It was from a site it was not the onion but it was a site like the onion it did nothing but uh, satirical news articles and they had done this satirical news article because of the, uh, of uh, a statement that uh, Mitt Romney had mentioned that uh, two-thirds of the voters don't work they actually are either retired or um, doing other stuff. So he was pointing out <laughs> that you can't always just target uh, working people to get votes. You have to make, make sure you have your support structures and stuff like that. So that was what the humorous part article was based off of. So she, but she then posted up that link into tumblr to say tell people you were wrong and this was a joke and here's the facts about it kind of like a an early snoop or snoops uh investigation she did uh, so she was i was very proud of her for going to to search that out but that's what a lot of uh, ais need to do in order to make sure their information isn't propagating that misleading 
uh, analysis or lack of analysis. And so uh, Elam pointed out that um, the uh, other the, the the jury trial stuff should be weighted a little heavier than uh, some of the um, Ready, Linda? So it should be, he even pointed out that the jury trials were in locations picked by the, the people prosecuting him in order to optimize their chances of winning, and he still won. So that kind of information. Now, Linda, you want to go this way or you want to go this way? I'm not, no. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting some silly puppies right now. <laughs> it is an interesting problem, though, isn't it? Uh, I'm not sure how you do that. I mean, I was very proud of my daughter. and I praised her, and I told her. So she, she had, you know, you know, that positive reinforcement stuff. She got some, not just a little bit, a lot when she did that. So um, we may have to figure out a way to train the AI that, the uh, you know, when it does pull out something really true, we got to give it a lot more praise than if it goes with the incorrect narrative. And that may be something we just have to embed in the uh, the analysis. So uh, I'm joining the talks with the two of them, both of them very intelligent when it comes to the AI's uh, analysis and, and uh, products and stuff like that. Uh, uh, high level, Elon said that one of the things that uh, he's wondering about AI is how efficient um, we'll become since we, the two things we've got right now that are problematic. Hold on just a sec. Uh, so he mentioned like right now we don't have enough chips, but he says in the a year or two, we'll have lots of chips, but not enough energy. So electricity grids and electric generation really need to ramp up. So he's been talking a lot with electrical providers about ramping up their supply and um, maybe using more batteries in order to uh, get the grid to be a little more stable instead of providing just uh, developing around a peak load, developing more for an average load, if they can get more things like batteries in the system to spread out the electrical stuff. And, uh, but these, both of them are very encouraged and con her concerned about, you know, oversight. But uh, anyways, it's been very entertaining. All right, so there you go. That's all I had today. And uh, my puppies, as you can see, are still rambunctious even after a long walk. They definitely seem to have enjoyed themselves. Puppies. All right. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good morning. And we will talk to you later.